This is Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today I want to talk about a fascinating study on heart disease and arthritis. I think everybody already knows that there are traditional well-known risk factors for heart disease. High blood pressure, obesity, smoking, diabetes, a family history, age. All of these things increase your risk of heart disease. What's happened over the last couple of years in the research is people have started to realize that inflammation and inflammatory disorders can also increase your risk of heart disease. So rheumatoid arthritis, which is an inflammation, it's caused by an antibody, an attack on the joints and seen in about 1% of the population, is certainly associated with an increased risk of heart disease. The study I want to talk about today was just published in Arthritis Care and Research, it comes out of researchers in Vancouver, Canada. And this was looking at a different type of arthritis, the wear and tear arthritis that almost 10% of the population of the world have, the osteoarthritis that you get when you're old. So what they did is they looked at almost 13,000 people who were had osteoarthritis and they compared that to nearly 40,000 people who didn't have that and they watched them over a period of 13 years and the results were quite intriguing. If you are a man and you had osteoarthritis, your risk of being hospitalized over that 13 year period because of heart disease was 15, 15% higher than someone who didn't have osteoarthritis. If you were a woman, your risk of being hospitalized was anywhere between 16, 17% and even 26% higher if you had osteoarthritis compared to someone who didn't. So my take on this is that it's more evidence that heart disease probably is caused by inflammation. So we want to work on inflammation through anti-inflammatory diets, through lifestyles that reduce inflammation, not just for our joints, but also for our hearts. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Namaste.